All right, guys, so guess what we're doing today? I've had a lot of people ask me about this one. Um, I kind of switched up a little bit and wanted to do something a little different um, for my family, and it was a hit with them. So I decided to do it again because a lot of people ask me about the recipe and how to make this one. So if I first started off with two pounds of squash. Oh, I'm sorry, and we're making squash casserole. Um, I first started off with two pounds of squash and all you want to do is to take the squash and clean it real good and I from experience of when I did it the last time I cut them a little thick and I didn't I mean it was good but I didn't like how thick it was when eating it nobody else cared but that's just my preference so I cut them a little thinner this time and, um, and what I did is we're boiling it for probably about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Um, just enough to get it soft. If it's not soft enough for you, let it go a little longer. If you think it's gonna be too soft, then take it out a little sooner. But I'm boiling it um, in some salt water. I salted my water a little bit um, when I saw the recipe of this uh, online. They didn't salt their water, but I love to salt my water because otherwise I don't use a whole lot of salt. So I put a little bit of salt in there, got those boiling, um, and probably got about another 10 minutes on those. And over here, got my bell pepper onion going, um, because what you do is you're going to need to thinly slice bell pepper and onion, and just take a, and put maybe about a um, couple of, um, I would say probably about a half a cup of butter. And, um, well, not really so much as a half a cup, but a quarter cup of butter. But I got that, um, in my bell pepper onion in here with some butter and just, um, got that going. As soon as it gets soft enough, then I'll take that off. And, um, and then we're going to start assembling our squash casserole. Uh, I'll have all the, uh, ingredients in the comment section. And, uh, as we're putting it together, I will... Make sure you guys can kind of see what I'm doing too as well. But go ahead and get your bell pepper and onion sauteed there and get it um, as soft as you can get it. I would say probably for maybe about uh, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes on this too as well. And um, as, or to your liking. So um, I did season it. I season it with some, some black pepper, a little bit of accent and... Yes, I love accent because to me, it wakes up the flavor. Huh? But anyway, a uh, little bit of accent, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and also I added a little bit of turmeric season. Um, ever since I found out that turmeric was good for you, I try to add it to anything that I can that I don't mind the, uh, the yellow tint of it uh, in the food. It really don't have any flavor, but the benefits are awesome. So I added just a little bit of that as well. And um, it's almost ready. Probably about another five minutes on this. And then we're going to be ready to drain the squash and assemble it. So be right back with you guys. All right, guys. So we've got our squash cooked. And um, it's uh, we boiled it. And some salt water until it got soft not too soft because we're still gonna bake it we got our bell pepper and onion we sauteed that and now here's what we're gonna put in it we have two eggs uh, about a cup of mayo uh, half a stick to a, a quart of a stick or half a stick of butter just depend on what you want and we have a eight ounce uh, bag of shredded cheese so you just want to mix that up <clears throat> don't worry about that butter if it's not soft enough because one thing about that once we put that squash in there it's gonna the squash is still hot although we've drained it and it'll it'll melt that butter so you just want to mix it up just a little bit here oh. So that should be good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add the bell pepper and onion in there. All 
Right? All right there. Put this up here. We're going to mix that up a little bit more. This is really good, guys. I know it may seem like a little bit kind of far-fetched because this is something that when I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't know about all that. <clears throat> but one thing I do know, I know what I like and what I don't like. So if there's anything in here that I'm putting in mind that you don't think you'll like, hey, don't put it in there. Or if you see, think you may be something you could put in there that you may like, then add it in. Because one thing about me, the way I learned to cook was through just tasting it myself. I didn't go to any type of culinary school or anything. I just have a love for food and seasons and cooking and just um, had to start cooking when I was little. Younger than most probably because my mom was a single parent. And so when I got home from school, she'd have something sitting out for me to cook and directions on what I needed to do. And that's where I began to start cooking. So I've been doing it for a while. All right, so now we got that done. We're gonna go ahead and add in our squash. And once again, like I said, I, we, we boiled the squash in some salt water for probably about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your liking. When I'm cooking, I'm always tasting it here and there just to make sure that it tastes right, that the texture is right, and that's what I go by. But just make sure you salt your water because I don't, I you know, I cook with accent and garlic powder, salt, I mean, accent, garlic powder, and um, onion powder and different other seasons. Most of them salt-free. Some might have a little bit of salt. But when it comes to actual salt, I only use that for pretty much boiling my noodles or boiling my vegetables. And that's about it. So, now we got that done. And we're going to put just a little bit more season in here. And I'll tell you something that I did different than what I actually had saw. I always tell people, I'm like, well, I really can't really tell you a whole lot about how I cook because I, I'm always adding things. If the spirit lead me to put a little something in there, then I'll put it in there. Now, this is Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese. And I think it adds just a little bit something different to the casserole. So I put just a little bit of that in there. A little bit accent. Garlic powder. And actually, I'm sorry, that's onion powder. Just a little bit of sprinkle of that in there. garlic powder and a little bit of black pepper just a little bit because we did put some on our bell pepper and onion while we were sauteing up so and don't forget guys a lot one reason why it looks so yellow is I Add just a little bit of that turmeric to the uh, bell pepper onion when I was sauteing that. Turmeric has a very um, has a lot of health benefits, and as soon as I found out about that, and I was like, "You mean tell me it does all this? Um, it's good for inflammation and joints, um, pain in your joints, and things of that nature." And I was like, "What?" So had to start adding it to my food wherever I could along with taking the actual vitamin too as well. But anyway, we won't go there, we're cooking. Okay, so we got all that stirred up. I think we're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for probably about 30 to 35 minutes on 350 degrees. 
And when it comes out, I'll tell you something else that I did differently too as well. When I saw a recipe that I looked at, they put um, Ritz crackers over the top of it um, before they bake it. I'm actually going to do French's um, onions. Um, it's a that's another reason why I didn't really put salt salt because this has you know some salt on it already. So I'm going to take just a little bit of this, put it over the top, and then I'll show you guys what it looked like when I come back. All right, guys. So I went ahead and added the squash casserole mixture to my baking dish and just put as much of the French's onions over the top of it as you want. I always kind of pat it down just a little bit because I do want it to soak up some of that. Squash casserole. And we're going to bake it, don't forget, at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. And your onions are just going to kind of turn just a little bit golden. And um, after you see them start to kind of get brown, you'll know that they're pretty much almost, it's almost finished. If you think you like to leave it in there a little longer, you can. But pretty much everything is kind of finished. You just want to make sure you're heating up those. You got the egg in there and the cheese. You want that to melt real good. But other than that, once you get through, you'll be finished. So, I'm going to pop this in the oven at 350 for about 30 35 minutes. And when it's finished, we'll come back and show you what's, what the finished uh, result is. All right, guys. The squash casserole is finished. I think it looks absolutely wonderful. Hang on one second. We're going to get a spoon and let's try this out. Okay, let's see here. Isn't that that crunch? Get in there, guys. Look at that. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Get in there, guys. I just think I love this dish. I'm so glad that. I decided to do this for my family. So let's see. Let's see how it tastes. Guys, y'all gotta try this. I, I mean, I kid you not. I mean, you have to try this, y'all. If even if you're not a squash lover, I promise you, if you try this recipe, you will be. I promise. Mm. Creamy, cheesy, just a little bit, but not too much. I love it. And one thing about this dish, guys, if you are vegan, you can also change some of the things around. Maybe an egg substitute, um, maybe do it without the butter. But I promise you, you will absolutely love this. I'm sorry guys, I got something else cooking on the side over here. But um, you will love that. And maybe like a vegan cheese or something. But you can totally make this um, a vegan dish completely. But I love it. You guys have to try this. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, click, share, do all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, it's my goal to, to um, share my what I've learned in cooking with you guys so that we can get more families eating at home sitting around the dinner table um, just to get back to the to the basics that you know what we grew up on um, 
it's not a hard recipe. It's one of the main things to prep, you know, cutting the squash and cutting up the onions and bell peppers. But other than that, it's very easy, very quick, simple recipe. Not expensive at all. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to ask me. And um, I'll definitely try to um, get any questions that you have answered. Thank you guys for taking time out to um, look at my video. Hopefully it's, it's been a blessing to you. And as always, it's my goal for you guys to, um, to realize that it, it don't take long um, for you to cook and be able to eat at home. Love you guys.